What's going on, everybody? Today's video, we're going to show how cards are still declining, aka dipping away. Even the goats are not even safe. We already talked about the Michael Jordan cards going down. Let's hit the other goat, Tom Brady today. And when you look at some of these prices of what they sold for, you're going to think there was some type of money laundering going on with drugs and everything else. It's just insane. 2018 Panini Prism Silver PSA 10 Tom Brady. December of 2021. Sells for $25,000. Yes, $25,000 for that card. Kudos to whoever got that kind of money for that because that's just insane. Same card. Just sold this uh, past Wednesday. $1,400. All on PWCC Premier Auction. You can see up there where it originally was sold at. I believe the other one was sold out of... Uh, Oh, it was Probstein off of eBay. Probstein off of eBay. I had to think where I got some of this stuff from here. All right, moving on. 2018 Kaboom Gold Tom Brady PSA 9. Sold this past February $110,000. Wow. Then we have a sale. November 18th, $18,000. Tom, you're dipping. You're dipping here. I don't think anybody's safe out there right now. All the Tom Brady investors that bought all this stuff at high, man. Woo! Not good, not good. And we're going to hit some of the bigger ones here that's even more shocking. Up next, 2020 Panini Prism Gold Brady out of 10 BGS 9. Sold for $50,000 this past January. That was off of PWCC Premier. Well, then we have a PSA 9 out of 10 that just sold on the 18th, $8,400. Okay, I still can't believe people are still paying $8,400 for that card in 9. That's just insane. I can see some of you guys' comments that are going to be left here. It's going to be like, what? <laughs> All right. Let's say this rookie. Playoff Contenders Champion Ticket autographed out of 100. Near Mint. Was this BGS 8 with a 10 auto? February 6th this year, 1.4 million. <laughs> November 27th, $360,000 on golden. Both those are golden auctions. We're talking huge dippage. Huge dippage. Wow. And I can still see that going further down yet because what they were at pre-COVID and you start using some markups, cost of living and all that other stuff, it's still way overpriced in my eyes, especially at 810. Last one. Oops. Clicked it twice. 2002 Top Super Bowl. This was the MVP Tom Brady game used patch auto. Out of 150. BGS 910 originally sold PWCC Premier Auction. May of this last year. For $156,000. Yes, October 21st this year, sold for $30,000. All this stuff is going to continue to decline. That's why I said I'm very hesitant on what I've been picking up. It's mostly been for my own collection or if it's something I can move to trade, maybe grade it out, make a little you know, money here or there to go buy some more PC stuff or something I could say is a really cool collection piece. But just looking at this stuff overall, nothing is safe out there. We've already seen where vintage has fallen. We've looked at the Michael Jordan stuff, the Justin Herbert stuff. I want to hit the Tom Brady stuff here because this this just is going to keep going and going. People are saying, well, it's a time of the year. People are spending money on Christmas and everything else. No, no. We are going back and in, still into reset mode. We've seen wax prices gradually somewhat come down. Those still need to come down a lot more. A lot of these cards here still need to come down a good chunk more yet, and we'll continue seeing it. Just like we've already seen Michael Jordan autographs and stuff like that get those uh, declines, we're going to still see Tom Brady decline, decline, decline. Huh. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Figured I'd throw this out for a little bit of a different type of video this week. Other than that, guys, I'm out. Catch you on the next dip.